With an estimated population of 7 million, Togo has, since its independence, chosen to build on its privileged geographic position as a country with a coastline to become the principal gateway for trade linking Europe, Asia, America and African countries. This strategic decision led the Togolese authorities to construct a deep water port, the Port of Lome, which was opened on 26 of April 1968. But the key historical date is January 21, 1967, with the arrival in the port of the first ship, Bert Hugo Steens. Fifty years later, this important maritime infrastructure has become the route to the sea for all of the Sahel countries of West Africa. It is the only deep water port in the sub-region, with a depth of approximately 17 metres. Originally designed for 400,000 tonnes of traffic per year, the Port of Lomé today handles over 15 million tonnes of general cargo. Placed strategically with its workforce for the development of West Africa, the Port of Lomé is the motor driving economic development in the West African region. Not only does it remain the main route for the country's trade with the world, it also contributes to the economic development of landlocked countries such as Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali, so establishing its place in history as a solution and catalyst for sub-regional integration. In its continual quest for optimum quality of service, the Port of Lomé has recently completed the expansion and modernization of its infrastructure. In addition to its two jetties, the ore jetty and the oil jetty and its fishing port, it now offers two container terminals equipped with state-of-the-art handling equipment. The first, this third key, which is named Togo Terminal, is the result of a public-private partnership between the Kogolese government and the Bolori Group. This third key has a tunnel depth of 15 metres and is 450 metres long, bringing the total length of container berths for Togo Terminal to 950 metres and a storage area of over 36 hectares. This third key is equipped for its phase one with two Lieber gantry cranes and 12 RTG cranes, allowing simultaneous processing of two ships of 7,500 TUs. Over the next five years, this installation will grow to allow a processing capacity of 1,200,000 containers per year. The second, Lomi Container Terminal, has a channel depth of 16.6 meters and is 1,050 meters long with nine STS cranes, the latest generation superpost Panamex gantry cranes, including six 22 rows and three gantries with 24 lines, 22 RTG ground gantries, four telescopic stacking cranes, nine lifting cranes, the container ships and transshipment carrying up to 14,500 TEU, with the aim being to achieve a future target of 4.5 million containers. Lomé Container Terminal covers 50 hectares. The port of Lomé has a diversified infrastructure, enabling it to accommodate simultaneously about 15 ships. Together with all its advantages, a main asset of the port of Lomé is its security. Since 2015, a maritime zone has been declared by the National Maritime Authority, acting as the custodian of state security for all services extending to seaborne traffic, particularly as regards to the protection of sovereign rights and national interests, maintaining public order and the security of people and property. Also, the creation of the Senior Maritime Council, set out by the Togolese government as a way to organise efficiently and better coordinate all services that come under the Togolese maritime law, and to react to changes in security and environmental or economic conditions. To obtain this recognition, the Port of Lomé has established a premier security system that complies with the International Ship and Port Facilities Security Code. ISPS, a procedure to detect, prevent and deter criminal activity that may compromise shipping. Thus the safety of persons and properties has become the priority of the port authorities since its business is linked to the regularity of transit of goods to landlocked countries.
the construction of a new road infrastructure was therefore required, bypassing the city of Lome and a motorway interchange at Agoe, and bypass roads for both the Alejo and the Defali Pass. Comprehensive works that reflect the commitment of the government of Togo to the port of Lome, for it to be without question the transshipment hub for the West African sub-region. Furthermore, the creation of a motorway and a 675km rail network linking Port Lome to the border of Burkina Faso with the planned construction of a dry port. Together with other projects that include extension of the jetty for Lome Container Terminal, extension of the ore jetty, relocation of the sales areas of vehicles and used equipment to free up space now assigned for use by the port, relocation and construction of a modern fishing port. In addition to the modernization of its infrastructure since 2014, expansion of its container terminals and enhanced safety systems, the port has embarked on an extensive process to simplify its business administration. The collection of taxes is aided by banks with online statements, improving the selectivity of procedures to expedite dispatch of goods the computerization of stores and custom areas that is now facilitated by the Foreign Trade Department. This reduces cost and time and risk of tariff errors. This also serves as a proof of the modern methods used for the port operations. Now as an established gateway and leading transshipment centre operating in line with the highest international standards, accredited since August 2014 with ISO 9001, 2008, the Port of Lome has improved its quality of service. It proudly reports the berthing of large vessels, 24 by 24, 7 by 7. The Port Authority's Listen to Users has a vibrant port community and multiple strengths, all designed to facilitate trade. Ultimately, the objective of the Port Authority of Lome is to increase the container traffic and make Lome a key transshipment hub for the African continent.